Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and this is Junk Journal July. And we are on the ninth prompt, which is scraps. Let's get over here to the blank page. I have this little bag of scraps. As if you've ever seen my little scrap box, you know I put them color coordinate them, put them in a baggie, put them in there, and that's just how I keep them. So when I need certain color scrap, I just get in that box. If that box gets too full, then it's time to use them up. So I just wanted to pull that one out too, and just see I have plenty of scraps in front of me. I'm just going to create something that I like, just something fun. First thing I like, I love these um, doilies. I love to toffee dye them which is tea and coffee and I love to use ink on them so let's see what we can get into here I really like this green that I had I'm not sure hmm. let's just put that aside for the moment I do know that I probably I have this scrap it's a pretty big scrap but this gorgeous gold and black with black tool, gold. What are those spider webs? Oh wow! <laughs> oh, that is so fun. It is so fun to live in my brain. It is so fun. That's really cool. I like this. There's so many scrappies here that I could wear. Wear. Had this scrap that I made for something else. I not even sure what that something else was and this piece of scrap that's beautiful and have these oddballs here <laughs> that have no faces in them but is that not funny as just funny it is funny I like that I like those and I had something else have an owl He's too small. That's funny. I don't think I'm going to use those today. Let's just pick something and commit. I have this crow. <laughs> See the red around it? The reason this crow is in the scrap box is because I was making a journal. Red was not the theme. Purple was the theme. And I inked it up in red and yeah, it's supposed to be purple. <laughs> Good times. I'm sure nobody else ever does that. That's pretty though, isn't it? Just kind of those on there. That's pretty. I like that. I'm wondering if we should do this first. Then pop that down. That just brings up the creep factor, doesn't it? The crow there. That's nice. I like that. Oh, you might put the owl down there and the crow up there. Maybe. Let me just see how this goes. There's some creepy little girls. No, I think we're going to stay committed to the crow. There's a little, looks like a spider web, but it'll cut off of something. That's just a cool piece of paper. Okay, how do we want to do this? I like that. I think that this needs to go on the bottom. I know. Let's make like a frame. So that would be fun, wouldn't it? So you can see that spider web through it. And yes, I just made another scrap. <laughs> I'll use it though. That's pretty. That is very pretty. What if we just have the spider web right here like this? That's really pretty. It's very pretty. And maybe have the crow outside of that. That's nice. Yes. What if we put the creepy little girls inside the frame? We have more. There's a whole family or the 
creepy little twins. What do we think? Well, I want you to be able to see the spider web. We can do this. Let's just get rid of part of this. Trim off their heads. There. That is cutie cutie. That can go there. I like that spider web right there, but I think we need to either ink it up or something because that is really bland behind it. Put these here. This needs to be inked in red. Oops. That'd be aged mahogany. girls? Do we want them to have red? I don't know. We'll wait for them. They're not going anywhere. What about we just put it this kind of up here maybe and put the crow down here. The creepy little girls can just kind of hang out up there. Let's do them in black so they'll stand out a little bit more maybe. What about if we touch up their dresses with red? Just like this. Just give them a little more Beck style here. Creep them up. There. That looks good. I like that. What about if we... Hmm. There's a scrap of lace. What if we just put some lace? How about, okay. We're going to snip it going up, upward. Like that. Maybe like that. We can do that. So you can see more of the spider web back there. just have that on the corner. I think that looks pretty. Can just do this so this can hang up over the edge. That would be nice. How about that? That looks nice. Maybe just a hint of lace behind them. That's good. So what about behind here? Do we need to ink it in red? Move this over. I think we do. Let's just let's get a little bit more red than that. Let's see how that looks now. it's a crow or if it is a raven but I'm gonna go with crow I think that's what I'm gonna go with let's get the um, spiderweb stamp out here just my handy dandy stamping pad how about black Yeah, 
That looks pretty. Go around the edges in red or black. How about black? Let's see if we have enough. Nope, we need to ink this up. There, that is really cool and creeped up. I like that. You know, creepy little girls. I really don't think I like that, those points there. Let's just make them like jagged edges. I like that better. That is cute. I like that. I like how it looks. We'll do it like this. Let's just ink this end up with the red. this down. I'm ready to see what this is going to end up looking like. I just like all the hodge podge scrappy laces on there. I don't know why. I just kind of like the way it's looking. Just scrappied up. Those binoculars. <laughs> Oh, stop it already with those. It's a little scrap of dictionary page. That might be cute there. It's a scary looking little picture. Get under there. Get under there. There we go. She's scary looking. I kind of like all that. Little mix matched hodgepodge stuff on there. Let's go ahead and pull this off like this and cut this spider web to be a more manageable size so it's not going everywhere. And I may change my mind. Totally change my mind about what's going on here. Okay, these need to be removed. Okay, I want it to be a little bit bigger than the page. Look at that scrappy scrappy. And let's go at it like this. <laughs> We're having a good time today. There we go. I got it. So very pretty. I really like it. Uh, we could also go this way, couldn't we? We certainly could, but I don't think we're going to. I'm just going to put some of glue down just so that that would stick for us. So we can go ahead and start putting other things on top. change our mind. We will put this here. Okay, I am going to use this Fabri-Tac on this. There we go. I think that look great right there. Just smush it down real good. Whoops, <laughs> not that good. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> I am thinking about, hmm, about putting this black lace over here instead of that. Oh, I like that much better. Let's go for this. And it can hang over the edge. I'm just fine with that. So what we need to do is just get some of this glue. Just enough so it will stick because we're going to put things on top of it. So there we go. This looks 
really pretty. Okay, let me pat it down here a minute. There. Now the crow on there. I really think I like that. And we will put, maybe we want crow up the word actually up here. Maybe that might look good. And the creepy little girls. What if they go there and then this creepy little girl goes down here? Maybe. Let's see. I like that. I also like this one. their light set. Then they could go right here. Let's see about that. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to just tear this so it's just not so pristine looking. There, that's better. Let's get some black on this. There, I like that better. Oh, this looks pretty. I think that, I really like that. That looks really pretty. I like that much better. How about we the family out. Also, you might like that better. That's better. That's what it needed. Let's get this um, into the black. Like it has burnt edges. That looks really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, we're going places now. Yay! Okay, let's get some of these things glued down. I think we need to glue this piece down first. I think that it is thick enough that it will stick with just our clear glue. There, now we'll put the crow here and the word crow there. That will work. Move it up a little bit so you can still see those pretty roses. I'm really happy to be using this crow. This is so pretty. Push down on it hard enough. Let's do this. You can always come back and touch it up with glue if it doesn't stick as well as we want it to. I like that. These little girls look awesome up there. This family looks great here. Let's see if we have some more little bits. Oh, here's a label. That looks cute right there. I like that label. I wonder if we should just barely get some, what's it called? This spider web on it. Let's do that. Let's just get a little bit. We don't need it to be really dark because we want to be able to write on it if we want to at a later date. That looks really cool. I like that a lot. That's going to work. But I do think we need some fabric tack for these. A little bit there. Get it stuck on that lace. 
there. Okay, little girls, you're going to have to cooperate with me here. Put the lace up a little farther and the little girls down a little farther. There we go. Give them a good smush. Oh, it looks really cool. I like that. I like the spider web. It just looks like that's a um, window and that's spider web. It's just the spider has just made a web on that window and then the red sunlight is coming through. That looks really cool. Whoops, that is not where I went. Let's move it over a bit. There, that's cool. I like that label being there. Give these a good smushing. Okay, I think that looks really cool. This is for hashtag Junk Journal July, which is hosted by Meg at Meg Journals in collaboration with Get Messy Art. And this is for day nine or prompt nine, which is scraps. So I took it as I just used whatever scraps I want. And I just made a beautiful, beautiful plethora collage sort of out of scraps. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful crafty day.